Let's take a poll. Am I wearing any pants? Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And today we're gonna talk about fly fishing myths. We'll go over some things you might have heard about fly fishing that may or may not be true, and I'll straighten it all out for you. Let's jump right into the first myth, that fly fishing is hard. It can be if you want to whine about it, but it doesn't have to be. Fly fishing is only as difficult as you want to make it. The exception might be casting. If you want to fly fish, you really should learn how to cast out of your shadow. And there are definitely some people that God never intended to hold a fly rod. But casting isn't all that hard, and you don't have to be a great caster to be a perfectly fine fisherman. I'm a good example of that. I'm an okay caster, but I'm nothing special, not even close. And I am a fine fisherman. Casting aside, fly fishing is not difficult. You don't have to know the Latin names of the insects. You don't have to struggle to catch a fish that doesn't want to eat. You can learn two basic knots and just use those like all the time. If you want to make fly fishing complicated and scientific, go for it. But it doesn't have to be that way. Taking one fly and two beers down to a bluegill pond is still fly fishing. Next myth, fly fishing is inaccessible. Now I'm not gonna say that accessibility to fly fishing is the same for everyone because it's not, but I think the lack of access is overstated. If you're an urban without some extra pocket money, yes, it's gonna be tougher for you than someone with a trout stream in their backyard, but you can still do it. If you want to learn to fly fish, you can do it. Every city or town that I've ever been to has a pond. You know what you can do in that pond? Fish with a fly pole. Don't have a fly rod? You can get one for like 50 bucks. Not the greatest fly rod, but it will be fine to get you started. Add a liter, a couple flies, and some nail clippers from your bathroom, and boom, you're a fly fisherman. Now go find one of the many free beginner classes that are out there, or learn from YouTube videos, or just head on over to that pond and figure it out for yourself. If you're a functioning adult, you don't need thousands of dollars to get into fly fishing. Just start small and work your way up. Next myth, social media has ruined fly fishing. Nope. Yeah, there are plenty of negative things that social media has done to fly fishing, but I think the good outweighs the bad. Mostly I mean networking and connecting with people. Almost all of my fishing buddies live in the internet. That's where I found them. And do you know how hard it was to plan a fishing trip before social media when all we had was paper maps and a phone book? Do you even know what a phone book is? Everything is so easy now, thanks to social media. Without social media, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I would just be talking to a wall in my house again. Next fly fishing myth, tying your own flies will save you money. Again, false. You're gonna spend way more on fly tying crap than you would have on flies because you make bad decisions. Sticking with the fly tying theme, another myth is that people invent or come up with new fly patterns. Nope. Adding a bead to a fly pattern doesn't make it a new fly, and everything has already been done before. There were a lot of weird flies tied way before there was a way to tell people about it. You might not know this, but the Game Changer fly was actually invented in 1936. All Blaine did was rip off Rapala. Yes, that is how it's pronounced. Next myth, Tenkara is a simple, easy way to get into fly fishing. <clears throat> Objection, your honor. Invalid question. Tenkara isn't fly fishing. Objection sustained. Oh, how about this one? Fly fishing is a sport. Does this guy look like an athlete to you? Or this guy? If fly fishing is a sport, then so is mowing your lawn. Is fly fishing an art? A hobby? A lifestyle? A religion? I don't know, but it's definitely not a sport. Or a personality, like some people think it is. Next myth, the 2020 club is somehow cool or special. If you don't know what that is, it's when you catch a 20 inch trout on a size 20 fly. And it's definitely not cool or special. You can do this on pretty much any tailwater, any day of the year. You know what is cool? Catching a 20 inch trout on a size two fly. That is way harder. Raise your hand if you've done that and streamers don't count. Next fly fishing myth. This actually came from one of the members at my website. Thanks, Ryan. You can't troll with a fly rod. Au contraire, Alaskans and float tubers would disagree with you. And let's be honest, I troll you guys with a fly rod all the time. Okay, let's wrap it up with one more fly fishing myth. Fly fishing is a superior method and fly fishermen are better than everyone else. Well, 
I believe this myth is true with all of my heart. We're better than the shrapnel tossers and we all know it and it's okay to say it. Have you ever heard someone say, I've been fly fishing for a long time and I'd like to learn how to spin fish? Neither have I because that's not how it works. You evolve into a higher being, not a troglodyte. And that's it, I'm done for today. I'm gonna go bask in my self-righteousness. If there's a fly fishing myth that I didn't discuss, go ahead and let me know and we can fight about it in the comments. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I will be back as soon as I can with a new video about fly fishing for you. Until then, go kick a bait dunker and stay huge. If fly fishing is a sport, so is knitting, so is walking your dog, so is gardening, so is taking a dump. It's not a sport.